hay plant gang, spilling over this wall is Phlox subulata, the moss phlox, also known as creeping phlox. Uh, you can see that this makes a dense mat like ground cover uh, here in this space. Uh, and it is doing well. This gets no attention whatsoever. It's in full sun and still here it is thriving. I'm showing you this in August, uh, but it really is known as a spring bloomer and typically people grow it because it forms this dense mat and then it's beautiful spring bloom of flowers. And we're going to show you what those flowers look like. We're going to put a picture right here of what those flowers look like uh, and you're going to see why people really grow this plant. Loves to be in full sun, really thrives in a full sun situation. So again, Phlox subulata, the moss phlox, sometimes called creeping phlox. It's got other common names that are used. This is a herbaceous perennial, hardy from zones three through nine. Just getting a half of a foot tall, up to maybe six inches tall, uh, seven inches tall at the very most, spreading out one plant two, maybe three foot wide, uh, depending on uh, the location and how happy it is. It does like well-drained soil. It can grow in poorer soil, uh, but it is going to thrive uh, quite a bit in well-drained soil. It does tolerate uh, drought. Uh, it can help with erosion control. It's good in air pollution situations and is also deer tolerant, which makes it very valuable to some folks in the home landscape. So for ID characteristic, it does have oppositely arranged bunches of almost needle-like foliage uh, that's a little bit spiky to the touch. Uh, now this is actually native to open woodland areas and slopes from Michigan down through Ontario and New York south to Tennessee and mainly in the Appalachians to North Carolina. Uh, it has loose clusters of tubular flowers that completely cover this plant and really do put on a great show. And here's a landscape tip. This is a ground cover that is particularly valued in sunny areas of the woodland garden. Hey, uh, update here. It's spring, April, I don't know, 4th or 5th, something like that. Uh, we've got uh, Phlox subulata, the creeping phlox. Some people even call it thrift. Uh, here in full bloom. A couple colors here, uh, this kind of pinky color and kind of a bluish color over there. Of course there's white, but we wanted to sh show you this low growing uh, plant here. Look at completely draping over this rock and just doing great, loving it. Uh, you can really form a quilt of different colors uh, with this plant. Uh, it does not look this exciting. Uh, the other uh, 50 weeks of the year it's not blooming, uh, but a great plant to bring a little bit of joy to your spring.